be you said there'd be punching pie. Where's the punching pie, goddammit? God damn it, where's the punching pie? Sith Master Dan here, and here's my deck. So I haven't spent a dime on this game. Um, I've been playing for free the whole time since launch. I've been playing it since probably a couple days after the game came out. I didn't play it in beta or anything. Um, but yeah, this is just what I got so far. And the, and the main reason I'm making this video is just to show you how long it took me to get all my cards to where they're at and kind of show you what um, why I chose to do what I do, kind of explain it in short. But anyway, um, Rogue Token is the first epic I got to level 5, and he is definitely a beast at level 5. I'm happy I got him there. Um, I just actually today I received uh, two Shield Maiden Windies, or maybe it was yesterday. Um, yeah, it was yesterday. And I got her to level 4, so I've got one Legendary at level 4. So it looks to be that my Fantasy deck would be the strongest. Um, but yeah, I'm going to go through my deck and just show you what I got so far. Um, this Actually, I'm going to go through my whole entire collection of cards, not just my deck. Uh, but this uh, Calamity Heidi, um, that was the first card I ever requested. And I got her to level um, 5 first before any other card. And I haven't asked for her since. That was when the game came out, and now she's still... Well, she's level 6 now, but that's it. So you can see I don't have any level 7 commons in the game. I only focused on, um, you know, cards above that. So yeah, I just want to show you what I got. Hey, story, 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 Jimmy. Jimmy's awesome. I'm currently asking for Aerostorm on Sundays now. I think that's pretty cool that we can do that. Um, it's still going to take a while to get Aerostorm to uh, level 5, but it is cool that I can do that. Um, and here's Barrel Dougie. Um, I think that's the highest level Dougie I have. I don't use Dougie at all except for in uh, challenges and stuff that it's required. Uh, team Wars and stuff like that. So Here's my Lightning Bolt. Um, I'm definitely asking for that right now. I'm very close to getting it to level 7. I'm going to be excited. I think it needs a buff. Um, I think Sher Sheriff Cartman is the worst Cartman in the game right now. Then we have Hink and Craig. Look what you've done to my boy. He's not very strong. Well, he's still good. He's in my main deck. There's the fireball. Um, I haven't really ever used the fireball except for in chat and uh, team wars and stuff like that. Um, I like the bolt better. I know the fireball is better, but, you know. There's Paladin Butters. He's probably that my, you know, my closest to level 7 common after uh, Calamity Heidi. I love those gnomes. Uh, Blood Elf Bebe, I would say she would be either second or tied with first with Medusa for the best Bebe. And I don't think a common should be any better. I don't think it should be better than my Buccaneer Bebe. And that's not just because I have Buccaneer Bebe. I just think that it's common sense that Buccaneer Bebe is an is a rare. She should be better than a common. That's all. Maybe give her more health or I don't know. A little bit more health. Maybe make her even with Medusa's tanky health. Um, but yeah, so that's my thought on on that labard needs a needs a buff no i'm just kidding i don't know he he's used a lot i don't think he needs a buff um <laughs> rogue token is awesome he was my first level five epic and uh yeah that kind of shows that i was never an adventure locked ever i think sorceress leanne is funny a cool character a nice halloween drop um i think it's still trying to update my game like every time i turn it on because of that card though um that kind of stupid but uh whatever um yeah so dog poo is probably going to be my next level five epic at least it looks that way um don't forget to bring it up you gotta love towley um he's always there to you know make things better obviously um let's see what do we got what do we got i don't really use a lot of the commons pigeon gang i asked for them early on and i have them you know they're level six um, I got Terrence and Philip close to level six. I'm clo I'm I'm excited about that because I've actually never really asked for any commons except for Calamity Heidi in the very beginning, um, and when they finally went and like flipped the meta back in the day. I think year one, obviously, they did that, and um, you know that tanked a lot of the commons. And even at that point, I wasn't asking for commons to begin with because I was just thinking logically. I was thinking, you know, why would a common be better? Why would I waste my time on that? Uh, so I never really wasted too much time. I've never really asked for common cards. Um, I just accumulate everything that I have uh, just by through the games. And so that's why they're at level 5 and 6 and not 7 right now. I like that 4-ass monkey. I think he's a little weak, but he's really fast. That's pretty cool. 
Gizmo Ike needs a buff. Come on, guys. We all love Gizmo from the Gremlins. We all do. Don't lie. Why does he suck so bad? He's so bad. Robo Bebe is cool. Um, like I said, I didn't ask for her at all. I just got her to level 6 from playing the game for two years. She's been out for a while. So, you know, that's why I have her at level 6. Um, I really like the sci-fi deck. Uh, Mecha Timmy. I think that Mecha Timmy's power should have been for um, Dr. Timothy, to be honest. Because in South Park, um, the Fractured Butthole, that game... Mecha Timmy, or Mecha Timmy wasn't in that game, but the Professor Timmy or whatever, um, he basically did mind control your people and make use them against you. So uh, it was kind of a weird choice that they made. Um, here's, uh, okay, so Butters, Kenny from the Mystical deck and then the, uh, the uh, Energy Staff. Those cards, to me, are way overused. They're in almost every deck, to be honest. I think Mystical is overused, completely overused. Um, I'm really sick of seeing so many Mystical like games over and over in a row. I would really enjoy seeing maybe, you know... I, I, I'm not saying I want you to like bomb Mystical. I just want to make it even with everything else. Like, so... That way, you're not just playing against Mystical every single game. Because it gets annoying. It gets boring. Pope Timmy's in almost every deck. Um, I hate seeing him, too. It's just... It's it's not that I can't deal with it. It's just, it's just making the game dull. And I'm glad that they're bringing in new characters and stuff at a pretty good pace. Um, <laughs> the Super Fart is awesome. I really love the Super Fart. Uh, I definitely think that this superhero deck is fun. I don't have it at a level yet that I can I use, really, at the level I'm at. Since I'm at um, around 7,000 right now in Legendary from the reset, I'll probably make it to 7,500 pretty easily. Um, I think that the people that are chilling in the seven, under 7,500 right now, and actually a lot of those top 200 players, they should be above, they should be in the 8,000s 8, right now. Um, but yeah, Dr. Timothy, like I said earlier, I think that his power should have been a mind control Maybe Mecha Timmy should have done some, uh, you know, sort of, uh, I don't know, where you like telekinesis stuff. Human Kite's a really cool card. That's the closest card I have to level four. You know, I'm pretty close to using those this deck, mixing it in with my uh, my adventure or my fantasy deck, even, even sci-fi. I just don't like using Mystical. Um, it's just because I see it too much. That's the only reason. If it wasn't used so much, I might start using it. That's just the way I roll, though. I like to go against the grain, you know what I'm saying? Um, call Girl, I think she's overlooked. I don't think that she is. I mean, for six cost, I guess they did bring her cost down. She was seven cost before, I think. Uh, but I, I don't know. She's a good card. If you use her right, um, especially if you're rocking Pope Timmy, you could bring Pope Timmy back that brings back Man Bear Pig, and then, boom, you just got, like, uh, I'm sorry. Yeah, it wouldn't bring back Pope Pope Timmy. It would bring back one of the. It brings back one of the people in the in the from your deck, your superhero deck only. So I guess that wouldn't really work. But anyway, you could bring her back with Pope Timmy, and she could bring somebody. That's what I mean. But I'm gonna go over here right now and show you. Um, I am on Cronenberg World. I've been on this team for a really long time. Um, we're a really, really good team. We're in the silver. Um, we're not, not very many of us are pay to win. Like a couple of us, I'm sure have put a lot, put some money into this game, but, um, you know, none of us, we're a pretty chill, relaxed team. Um, we don't have any first places right now, but you know, our rank shows that we've obviously gotten them. Um, we're not, we're definitely not gold yet legendary, but you know, we're going to, we're going to get there. So we are, uh, we do have a, a page. It's uh, it's Cronenberg World on Facebook, and I will mention that at the end too. But yeah, so that that's basically my whole entire deck after two years of playing the game. I haven't paid a, a penny at all just to do any. And I'm going to take you over here uh, to the world leaderboards. Like I was saying, I'm, in, I'm at 7,000. I haven't paid a penny. Now... I'm going to show you all the way, like, the top 200 or so players are, like, right at, like, you know, like, right above 7,500. It's like, come on, guys. Like, climb the ladder, guys. Let's go. Move with a purpose. Let's let's get up to the top. Let's get to 8,500. Come on. Let's, let's get up there. Let's not hang out and, and just...
just fart all over people and not use skill and just be boring. Let's let's get to the top, guys. Come on. Everybody, there will be a lot more people in Legendary if you all just climb instead of sitting, sitting there stagnant. Get up there. <laughs> um, obviously, I don't buy the costumes out of here. I never have. It doesn't matter if it rolls more of whatever through. It doesn't matter. I've got a nice pace going. It's been working for two years. I'm doing all right. Um, I want to show you this elephant of gold. That is probably, I'd say, still the best bang for your buck when it comes to Cartman cash or whatever that stuff's called, the, the premium currency that you earn. And <laughs> $50 for $6,000. Uh, come on, guys, really. You could buy a video game for $50. I guess it's $60 these days, but um, I'm just saying, like, you could do a lot with $50. It's funny that people put it into this game. Um, but hey, more power to you if you do. Thanks for paying for the game, you know. Um, the butters challenges, those are cool, but like like I said, like if you don't want to spend a bunch of cash or whatever and pay to play a free game, um, you definitely, uh, you know, that is only a once a week thing, kind of a one time a week thing, so I don't really see it as a big deal. I don't think that you should nerf cards based on that alone. I think you should actually look at the leaderboards and, and legendary and see what people are using too much and probably go off of that and uh, even it that way. You know, whatever is used the most is probably what is the meta and probably what should get a little balanced. Um, that's all I'm saying. Um, check out these, uh, this, okay, so this pack I'm showing you right here, I think there needs to be more of those in the, in the season pack if we're gonna use these packs. There's only two of them. I think that there needs to be like double at least or maybe five times the amount, maybe all the packs should be like that. That would be pretty cool. But uh, I hope you all enjoyed my video, folks. Sorry it's been a while. Um, like I said, I'm gonna mention uh, my uh, my team's website. It's uh, Cronenberg World Guild. It's Cronenberg, Cronenberg. Check out our Facebook page, Cronenberg World Guild, Cronenberg World Gaming, or it's actually Cronenberg Gaming. Gaming. <laughs> yeah, come check us out.